All right, all right, all right. Since I'm on the road today, uh, I just I just did a couple of check situations. Uh, so talking about money issues led me to think of another big money issue that's always an issue with everybody I deal with, right? For those who don't know, I'm a photographer, videographer, right? Um, I, I think I'm pretty, pretty good at what I do. Um, so a lot of people ask me, like, hey, how much do pictures cost? Um, how much do you charge? Things like that. Uh, and people, don't, they don't want education, right? Um, how much do pictures cost? How much does food cost, right? How much does gas cost? Well, the answer is always, well, it depends on what you actually want. That's the answer. People don't like that answer. Um, they want to know, what do you normally charge? Hey, what kind of rates you got? What kind of packages you got? And although there are rates and there are packages, I understand that the general public may not want what I do on a day to day. So I try to, I try to talk them through it. And I ask them that question that scares them to death. It's like an AIDS test when I ask this question, right? I say, what's your budget? Now, I want, I want you to take notes, right? I want you to really listen to this. Because it's a thousand photographers out there, a thousand people that provide services, period, that when they ask you that, I promise you, it's for your benefit. Your benefit. Because what normally happens, right, this is, this is why I do this. What normally happens is, hey, can you send me your rates or whatever? Okay, cool. Send my rates. Send my packages over. Now, again, normally I might do this, but they might just want this. So when they get this price, they're like, oh, sweet baby Jesus, right? They can't believe it. They're offended. They're whatever they are. Oh my God, he's too high, girl. I'm going somewhere else. My man, I do it for twenty dollars. All of that that they go through, it's crazy. And at that point, then the ignoring, you know, hey, did you get those rates? I know you got those rates. I had a little, little, little birdie on it that told me, hey, they just checked the rates. So I see that they got the rates. But when they get the rates, like I said, they go missing. Well, homegirl, you, you text me literally. 75 times this week. Your communication's been on point. But you get those rates and you don't get any more of my texts. You don't get the inbox that says, you know, seen. You know, it showed that you read that too. But you don't get it. You just stop responding. So now I feel a certain way, you know. I feel, I feel a certain way. So to prevent myself from feeling a certain way and you know possibly getting petty because we talked about my pettiness and I can't get petty, I try, to, I try to cut all that off ahead of time and just say, look, what's your budget? Because if you got $20, let me tell you what you can get for $20. You know, and, and we, can, we can build on it from there. But there's no need for you to run off or be scared off or, oh, I don't, I don't need all that. I asked you that to begin with. I asked you, right? So people, when somebody says, what's your budget? Just tell them what your budget is. You might not be able to get what you want. Let, let's get that clear. But it gives up, you know, some place to start to try to meet in the middle or something. Maybe we can work it out, maybe we can't. But please respect the what's your budget question, you know? God, if you knew how frustrating it is, like every time. It's like without fail, every time. And you, but I won't say every time, because you know you can generally tell how, uh, I ain't gonna call you broke people. I ain't gonna say broke people. I'm gonna say um, people with the limited budget or people with the least desire, uh, the, the least amount of, uh, <laughs> you know, residual money to waste on something like what I do, you know, those people. You can tell that they ain't trying to spend nothing by the way they approach you, right? So when this happens, I'm like, oh boy, here we go. And you know, some people you try to work with, some people you don't. Some people, they just give, give off bad energy, so you don't work with them. 
I don't work with them. I just I just give them the rates because I know that's, that'll send them on their way. And that's their night. But I do what I do because I love what I do. It ain't, it ain't really solely about the money. So I try to work with these people, man. So I'm rambling on to really get the point across. When somebody asks you what's your budget, talk to them. Negotiate. You understand? I'm not telling you that I'm going to come down a single dollar. That's not what I'm telling you. I'm not telling you that Joe Blow will either. But I am telling you that talk it out. You understand? A closed mouth don't get fed. That's a fact. So if you got that 20, then let me know you got that 20. And, and I'm going to bring my phone through and I'm going to get you straight. Like that right there. I'm going to get you straight. What's your budget is a good question, folks. Respect it and appreciate it.